This video is for adult collectors only. Don't forget to read the disclaimer. Hey, what's up guys? Kendo here, and we got something special for you guys. I will not tell you what it is, but you'll see soon. Soon enough, yeah. And yeah, all right, we're gonna start. But before we did that, I went to something, something cool. So I'm gonna let you guys look at this real quick. That should do it. All right. Let's get this out of the way. So now you remember what I've uh, what I've done. I'm just gonna put that back here. All right, let's get to um, let's get to the thing real quick. We'll say I ordered this off eBay and it came from Japan. The funny thing is, this came in within like a couple of days. So where where's my phone? Oh, I'm using my phone as my camera, so that's why the quality is much better now. So let me just open this real quick. Okay, this is so this is so weird. This is way much this is much different than what I usually do. So unboxing things like this. Like scotch tape of some sort, so even though I'm learning Japanese, yeah, call me out or whatever. But um I I don't wanna show you what's behind like on this side of the box. So I'm I'm just not gonna show it. But you you guys might see this. I think this is fine. I mean this is QR codes and I don't even know what that is. Yeah. Um, there is a kind of delay from the video to, I think I'm stupid, whatever. Well, let me just, all right, we got it open. So let's, let's take a peek on what's inside. Oh, I know you guys see it. Boom, look at that. I know you guys see it and I see it too. All right, we actually got it. Oh yeah, we got 370A. Yep, that's what it is. All right. I don't know if I want to keep the box, honestly. I mean, this thing was hella expensive to get. I might not even post this video until, you know, the day that I go to my next tournament. So yeah, honestly, I might just keep the box. I don't even know what I'm going to put in this box, but something. Actually, I'm just going to slide that back in there. Because currently I have like a lot of U like Beyblade X products in two fucking drawers. So, all right. Now we look at the most expensive bay that I've ever owned. Wow, that is beautiful. Let's tear into this baby. We're gonna go from, you know, some of the least exciting parts to the, le the more exciting parts to it. So the first part we're gonna go look at is Excel. Honestly, I might need a new Excel if I can find my Beyblade. But this Excel, um, I don't even know what color it is, but here's a close up of it. I don't know if it's like the same color as like drawn, you know, busters, but it's cool that it's in another Excel that it's fresh and new, not beaten up yet. And it has this like neon green that looks like a Lego brick, you know? So, got Excel. Next, we have three, 370. Well, I should mention this one thing. So, uh, usually attack and balance tips, or yeah, yeah, balance bits, attack and balance bits have these uh, little bands on them. I call them resist, uh, resistance bands. So if it has a band like this, that means it has high resistance. If, that does, if it doesn't, that means the bit has low resistance. You might be wondering to yourself if you're new to this, oh, how do you know if it's 370? So on the sides here, you'll see there's like little notches here. I made a whole video about, you know, parts of a Beyblade and stuff like that. And if you look to the side of it, if I can show it. Yeah, so on the sides, usually you have to see it through the naked eye. And I'm like hunched back, like I'm hunched forward with my back i don't want to hurt my back but there's this little little slope here that's there and this is that that's what represents a 370 and another way that you can recognize a 370 from like a let's say a 360 is that the overall shape so like this shape with the, like the tabs and stuff and where the hole is for it it's octagonal it's not hexagonal it's octagonal i counted three-sided so it's it's three-sided so one two three contact points here and yeah, I want to explain, you know, how this works unless you watch this video right here on the screen. All right, let's get to the most exciting part. And I don't even think I'm going to battle this till tournament day. So this is Arrow Pegasus. It is very reminiscent of the Pegasuses from Metal Fight or Metal Fusion, Metal Fury. 
capital, whatever. Uh, the motif, you can see right here, there's a little hexagonal shape there. So it's re re like, re like replicating the metal face bolts, though I think don't know if it's me but to me it looks like it's unaligned but i think that's just me i don't know i really like these um the prongs here they're very unique compared to like every other thing i mean every prong on like ux bays are unique and also to mention this is a ux bay blade i don't know how they're gonna do the next season but if they have a similar like a similar formula that's similar to season one they're probably gonna give this bay like this is this bay is gonna be like the final boss battle like they're gonna see it here and there and then there's gonna be a new bay with like a special gimmick so like you got cobalt drake it was a left spin bay no, no cobalt drake it's a it's a rare get bay you rarely see it in like the show and stuff you see like in the show yeah you rarely see it and then when it got an upgrade which is just like from the same generation i don't know if they're going to continue that thing where they like the final boss battle bay from the rare get battles are going to have they have so like they have the same generation but like a different gimmick so like with Cobalt Drake, uh, it, w it went from Cobalt Drake to Cobalt Dragoon, and Dragoon is a left spin now. So it's it's like special ability or like it's unique, you know, thing was that it's left spin. If I'm correct, um, the original Plastic Gem Beyblade, there was a Dragoon Beyblade that is also left spin, and it attacked. It moved left, but like the blades were moving. Like it looked like a right spin Beyblade, but its blades were like spinning this way. So so yeah, all these new generations are gonna be represented of the new you know i don't know what i'm saying anymore I'll, okay okay so i i so we already have plastic gen beyblade we have metal fight representation now we're gonna have burst for season three i don't know how long they're gonna do x but i assume from what i what i'm seeing that's gonna be the case but if they make like a very unique beyblade just for x for like a fourth season if they do a fourth season that's gonna be amazing no like um repeated motifs or anything like that I went on a real little, little side quest, but the, the whole gimmick for Aero Pegasus here is that it is double coated in paint. But I really like the colors for these, honestly. I really like the color for Aero Pegasus. So I'm going to keep this pristine. No, you know, no dropping. This is going to stay in my case. So to put the bay together, you simply just have to align these this, this little white plastic here with the... Um, the little notch here here so what i do i don't even know how the anime is gonna do it but what i do is just align if it's like um something odd numbered i, I try my best to get it aligned to something so this is 370 aligned with its blades so if we keep it aligned right here so like if we do the other direction it's gonna be more aligned with like the holes here so that that could affect its performance so that's how you lock it in and you you twist it tldr if you want to know what direction you're in it so this the yeah if you want to put it in the right direction there's indicators here that have left and right if it's indicated left that means the ratchet is going to turn right when you're locking the bay and this is a right spin bay so you twist the ratchet to the r you do the same thing with left spin bays and the bit simple you just boom you just slip it in all right i'm gonna go get the um actually let's take a look at the bay real quick just admiring the full combo right here i am worried about the gap so if we do get a 50 height at some point please be soon because i'm dying for a uh, high taper on 50 height same with like high needle i think high needle is i mean i never have i don't have high needle but i i believe it's probably a little but or maybe better than regular needle because how the cone is shaped but yeah it has some gaps here and there it makes sense but all right let me go get the um the scale we'll weigh this thing five minutes later so i got the scale here i don't know how accurate the scale is but this white is really blinding so I'm just gonna first we're gonna do excel 2.7 grams according to this oh my god you can't see it but you can kind of see it hold on this might be the my fault hold on 2.6 grams around that so like any it'll, it'll round up to like three grams so like 2.5 2.6 2.7 is gonna round up anyway all right now we get to 370 so let's see how much this weighs 6.4 grams okay that's pretty neat so now we get to the main event let's see how heavy this bay is 
Wow, it jumped from 37.9 to 38.2. Hold on, that, that might be a miscalculation. My end. Hold on. Nope. 38.2 grams. Holy moly, I got the heavy end. Funny thing is, is that my Cobalt Dragoon, when I first weighed it, it was, it was at the cusp of being a 38 gram bay, which sucked. It was a 37.9. It was literally just a gram away. But now it's probably lower. But yeah, so this is Cobalt, not Cobalt, <laughs> oh God. This is Aero Pegasus. It's like holy glory and stuff like that. So yeah, you'll see battles with it when you see battles with it. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys have a great day. See you guys later. I mean, also one more thing. So for all of the, um, all the karaoke lovers out there, um, some news, my most recent video on on my second channel on this channel right here i got copyright claimed and stuff like three of them yeah i understood i think there was four three or four but one stood out to me that made me disappointed you know how so i don't know if i should continue i don't know if i should you know continue making karaoke songs even though i'm not making money on this channel but if you guys want me to make more karaoke songs i i will i will make more karaoke songs but i honestly don't know if i should keep on making karaoke songs even though i got one in like in the works right now that i've been pushing pushing back but yeah i want you got i want those karaoke fans out there who listen to like all the or like watch all the karaoke songs that i made uh for you know how i want you guys to tell me what i should do because i i'm kind of a, in a stomach because i want to make them and release them for the fans out there but i don't want to get copyright claimed even though i'm not making money on this channel i don't know i might i might make some i might not but until then i'll see you guys later bye